Hi, how are you, my dear students? I hope you are fine. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, lesson uh, 17, Simplify Algebraic Expressions. Our objective will be today, combine like terms to simplify expressions. So, what we mean by like terms and how we combine them to write or to simplify expressions or to write equivalent expressions. Here we start. Now let me go to a definition of uh, like terms. Terms that have the same variable part, such as y and 2y, are like terms. Look, these two terms have the same variable, which is what? y. So they are called like terms, and we can, uh, so we can combine them. To simplify algebraic expressions, you use properties of operations to write equivalent expressions that have no like terms and no parentheses. So we simplify the expression by combining like terms and uh, solving the uh, brackets or parentheses. Now, what are the properties of operations that will be used? Well, first of all, identity property of addition and of multiplication. Identity property of addition if we add any number to zero equals the same number, uh, we can say a plus zero equals a equals zero plus a. And for multiplication, if we multiply any number by one, we get the same number. For example, a multiply one equals a equals one multiply a. Now we should know that we can use the identity property of multiplication to write x as 1x. So x and 1x are the same because the coefficient of x is 1. So x can be written as 1x and 1x can be written as x. Let me show you some examples. Here he asked me combine the like terms in x plus x and plus x. As you can see, all three terms are like terms because they have the same variable, which is x. But what is the coefficient for each one of them? The coefficient here is 1, and here 1, and here 1. So now what we do, here we add the coefficient of each one of them, of course, we write x as 1x using the identity property of multiplication. So, x equals 1x. So, we add all the coefficients here, 1 plus 1 plus 1, and we write the common variable, which is x. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, and we write the variable, which is x. So, x plus x plus x equals 3x. So 3x and x plus x plus x are equivalent expressions. Now, let me do another example. Combine like terms 2y minus y. As you can see, 2y and y are like terms. Why? Because they have the same variable part, which is y. Now, we need to know here that we can just subtract the coefficient which is 2 and 1 and we write the variable as it is so 2 minus 1 equals 1 and we write the variable which is y so it is 1y and it can be written as y here let me discuss some questions with you Uh, on and uh, I, I uh, will uh, show you the answers and explain on the answers. Here, explain why the expressions 2y minus y can be written as y. Uh, what are the coefficients of the first term is 2 and the second term is 1. So 2 
minus 1 equals 1. So the answer is 1. And we write down the variable, the common variable, which is y. So 1y. And 1y, as you know, using the identity property can be written as y. In number 2, explain why the expressions half x plus half x and x are equivalent. So let's simplify the first expression, which is half x plus half x. The coefficients for the bo both x terms is half. Both they are both they are like terms. They have the same variable part. So we just add the coefficients and write uh, the uh, common variable. So half plus half equals one. So half x plus half x equals one. And we write the variable which is x one x. And as you know, 1x equals x. Now let's check question number 3. Henry wrote 4z squared minus z squared as 4. R, 4z squared minus z squared and 4 equivalent expressions. Let's simplify the first expression. Here, 4 minus 1 equals 3. And we write we subtract the coefficients 4 minus 1 equals 3 and we write the common variable which is z squared we don't care if the variable is z or z squared the most important thing they both have the same variable so we write as uh, 4 uh, z, z squared minus z squared equals 3 z squared and it's not 4 what they write in the book, uh, they, they uh, give any value, they give any value for z and they replace it in the two expressions to prove they are not equivalent. Here, simplify each expression. Let's look at this. x plus x plus x plus x. I know that most of you now, you can say it is for x. But let me use the book way. They say here 1x, 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 1x. Because as you know, using the identity property, we can write s as x as 1x. So we add all the coefficients 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. And we write the common variable, which is x. All of them are like terms. They have the same variable, which is x. So we add the coefficients, which is 4, and we write the common uh, variable. Here, in number 5, 4y minus y. It means 4y minus 1y. 4 minus 1 equals 3, and we write the common variable. Let's go to more uh, complicated questions look at number nine we look first at the what like terms this 3y and this y they are like terms why because they have the same variable here y and here we have y so 3y or 3 minus 2 uh, 3 minus 1 oh, it's plus 3y plus 1 y equals 4 and the variable is y so 4y 3 minus 1 this constant and constants it means numbers are like terms so 3 minus 1 equals 2 now other example number 10 number 10 we have x plus 6x so it means 1x plus 6x 1 plus 6 equals 7 and we write the common variable of course they are like terms here some people or some students think that number 8 is difficult but what is like terms 4x and negative half or minus half x so these terms are like like terms so I can combine them just I subtract the coefficient 4 minus half equals three and half and I write 
the variable or the common variable which is x and two is constant but we don't have another constant to combine it with them or we can't combine it with any other uh, term because it has no like terms so just we write it by this we come to the end of this uh, lesson uh, of this easy lesson I hope it is uh, clear for you uh, thank you very much with we'll, welcome back all the time you are welcome with Mr. Muad JB don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel and press like if you like the video my channel on the YouTube is Mr. Muad JB uh, math and English Mr. Muad JB J dot B dot math and English thank you very much